What's up YouTube? This is Detroit Borg with a look at the Apple iPad Smart Cover for the iPad 2. Now these are available in two different materials, leather and polyurethane, and I have a leather version right here. This is the cream color, and it's available in ten different colors, five for leather, five for polyurethane. If we look at the packaging, you can see some of the details explained. It tells us that the leather smart cover is crafted from high quality, naturally treated material that gets its color from a rich aniline dye. Some color may rub off during use. And of course, the big feature with the cover is the fact that when you lift the cover, it actually wakes up the iPad, and when you close it, it turns it off or puts it to sleep. And here it tells us about the magnetic hinge which automatically aligns to the iPad. And we have two viewing positions, the typing position and the upright position. Down here we have that astronomical price. It is $70 for the leather version and $40 for the polyurethane version. All right, to open this, I think all we do is peel back this tab. And all you do is you push it through, opens the lid. Okay, as a diagram on how to install it, just pull away the plastic cover and the iPad cover should slide right out. Now here we're looking at the inside of the cover which is a very soft microfiber material. Again, they advertise this as being able to clean the iPad itself. Um, I'm not sure it will do that unless you're sliding it back and forth. But it's a very nice soft material. Feels feels very nice. It actually feels a lot like the original iPad case. Now on the front you have this nice shiny soft leather material. You can see the grain texture to it. Looks pretty good. So if you look very closely at the hinge, you can see it's a two-piece design. Uh, there, there's the hinge here that rotates and the hinge here that pivots on the cover itself. The hinge actually has these protecting bumpers, so that's great. So when it's interacting with the iPad, it's not scratching. That was my biggest fear about these cases, is that if it was metal to metal, they're going to scratch the iPad. All right, let's go ahead and install the iPad cover. And as they've mentioned many times before, this automatically aligns to the iPad. So you should just be able to hold it next to the iPad and it will automatically find the right spot. I'm just going to slide next to it. Automatically finds the right position. Close it. There you go. In fact, you can hear my iPad turned off. Now if we look very closely at the hinge and peel it back, you can see how it sort of snaps into place. Now there are magnets in the cover that interact with magnets in the iPad. So when you lift the cover up, it should automatically wake it, as you can see, and it automatically shuts it off. Up, off. Pretty cool. Now just like the original iPad cover, this can also be used to prop up the iPad and all you have to do is roll it back. And it uses magnets to hold itself together. So in fact, if you look here, it doesn't fall apart unless you force it to. But there you go, you have the typing position or you have an upright position. You can see it's pretty stable, so you can still touch the screen reasonably, but eventually you could push it over. It's not too bad. Now like Steve Jobs said, the cover is lined with a, a microfiber material that helps to clean it. Uh, so if I just rub it around a little bit, you can see it, it does allow you to clean the screen, but if you hear the lock sound, you can see as the cover moves around, it turns it on and off. So that's something to keep in mind. Now the one advantage to having just a cover on the iPad is the fact that things like the Apple dock will still work. Now this isn't the iPad 2 dock, this is actually the iPad 1 dock, but it still works. And it's going to hold me over until they finally start shipping the, the iPad 2 docks to customers. Now you can see it does a very good job protecting the front of the iPad, but does nothing to protect the side or back, which is a big issue for me. Uh, it's a very neat design, but ultimately I'm more concerned about the iPad being protected, so I'm probably going to buy another case uh, eventually once good ones become available. Ultimately, the smart cover is a very clever design, has some very neat features. Unfortunately, it's very expensive and doesn't provide the protection I'm looking for. It is very high quality. Um, I do think it's worth the money if you like good design and if you like uh, the features that it provides. But ultimately, you can buy, uh, eventually you'll be able to buy much better covers that do a very good job propping up your iPad. And I'm sure they'll have covers that use the magnets in the cover uh, in the iPad to turn it on and off. So I would say wait at least a month uh, for the good covers to start coming in. So once again guys, this is Detroit Borg with a look at the smart cover from Apple. Thanks for watching.